Hey guys, it's Monday morning. I'm on the 401, but I, I'm feeling comfortable doing this, shooting this little video because I'm traveling at about 10 kilometers an hour because there's construction and I've been doing that for now for about 20 minutes. Um, I have a message for you guys. My message to you is, are you the type of leader that you would be attracted to follow? Um, I think it's interesting. We have we have veteran leaders now on this team. We have brand new people that are up and coming leaders. We have people who've only been in the profession for a year or two um, who are certainly on their way to strong leadership. But whether brand new or seasoned, one thing remains. There's some people who have trouble just planting their flag, committing and getting to work. They are in and out with their commitment by the day. I'm gonna make a promise to you because there's universal principles that always apply. And that is, if your leadership is wobbly, meaning uh, you're committed, you're not committed, you're committed, you're not committed, then you will attract what you put out. You may not think so. You may think that you only share that with the support line and not with your success line or what some people call downline. I don't like that term, but your success line. You may think that you don't share it with them, but it's a universal law. It is being picked up. It's the energy you're, you're putting out. So it's important that you plant your flag, you commit, you put your head down, you keep your blinders on so you're not distracted by all the noise that's out there. People who have gone to different businesses, people who have complaints about, I don't know, whatever they're complaining about because people who don't have their flag planted will find those things. If you have your blinders on, it doesn't matter. It doesn't distract you. You know, it's interesting because in one day last week, I talked to somebody who um, had put in 14 people in the business. They had 14 ambassadors in their business. And I said, gee, with the double points by the end of the month, um, you know, you only need to put in 20, 21 people with the double points, you'll earn leadership. He said, well, that will be done. The same day, there was somebody who only had to put about 10 people in the business, not 20, 10 people who had a team to draw from, already has a nice team. And her attitude was, Oh, gee, I'm not sure if I can do that. That's a lot. Really? Ten people. Ten people, and there was probably a good, I don't know, maybe a week. That was a week ago, so a good two weeks in the business. It's all in your attitude. There's a difference between the first person's attitude and the second person's attitude, and without a doubt, there will be a difference in the business that develops unless that second person can change her attitude. I would say if you have two days or three days left to earn leadership and you only have 10 people, you can get it done. You can make it happen if you want it badly enough. So um, guys, are you the leader that you want to follow? If, you, if, you, if your enroller had things coming out of their mouth that comes out of your mouth, would you follow them? Think about that and maybe change the things that you think about, change the things that you say, because universal energies will apply and you will attract what you put out, good or bad. So be the leader that you want to be. If, think about the business that you want to have and ask yourself all the time, are you projecting? Are you behaving like the leader? Are you generous? Do you share your time? You know, Sonia Dudley and Helen McFadden are, have rearranged their schedule tonight to meet with some of our team members. They don't benefit from that but they are projecting the kind of generosity by sharing their time, the most important commodity we have to help other people in the, in the company. Are you the leader that you wanna follow? Have a great day.